everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Jennifer and welcome back to another episode of Nailed It. If you're not familiar with the Nailed It series, Lexi Jean came up with it a while back. <laughs> and we do episodes every two weeks or so. And we take a, an image or a picture or an Instagram, something that we use as an inspiration for a look that we either want to copy or as I just said, like as an inspiration, something that we look to to try to emulate. And today's look, um, their makeup artist, Malvina, has done something with Pat McGrath's Decadence palette. And I'm looking down instead of at you guys because I'm looking, I'll put up a bunch of different shots, but it's actually like a little short video. <laughs> as usual. We've picked a look that uh, it doesn't even look simple this time. Like a lot of times we pick a look and we're like, oh, it looks simple. Now, now it doesn't even look simple. Um, first of all, I will say a couple things. One, the, the model has huge eyelids, just enormous, uh, which is fantastic, but my eyelids are not that big. Uh, and secondly, very different face shape. So what I've gone ahead and done is my complexion. I have on the uh, By Terry Foundation. I have on Dior Blush in um, Rose Montaigne. And then I have lipstick on the the um, Beige Couture from Dior and the Saint Germain lipstick liner. My brows, I kind of tried to, to do a little bit more of a, a heavier brow like the model has. And I'm wearing a hoodie. I'm wearing a hoodie. <laughs> I really, I, I did mean to sort of like do my hair like hers and get dressed up, but I have been fighting a migraine all day today. Um, and I've gotten it under control. For those of you who have migraines, you understand what that means, but I'm not exactly 100%. So everything is kind of in slow motion, <laughs> which may be okay. Uh, so let's pull the hair back because this look is gonna be hard enough um, <laughs> just, just in general. Uh, okay. As I said, the artist used the decadence palette and I have the decadence palette. I have the star Wars version of the decadence palette. Dun, dun, dun. Very smudged up, but you know, uh, and the shades used were gold standard underworld and sterling. Okay. So gold standard, which is, whoa, gold standard, which is this shade, the gold, shocking. We've got underworld, which is this bluish shade. And then sterling, which is this silver shade. And it looks like those are the three shades. Let me just look here. Okay, those are the three shades. The thing is though, what the artist did is they used the extreme black all over the lids as the base. Now I don't have an extreme black Pat McGrath. And I thought about just using another black liner. Like just, I have plenty of black liners. Um, but, I really wanted to use Pat McGrath. Like this is a Pat McGrath look, so I wanted to do that. So the only shade I can find that I have, I know I have more liners than this from Pat McGrath. It may be the headache, it may be the migraine that's just affecting my ability to function. But the only one I can find is Blitz Brown. So we're gonna use Blitz Brown because I can't find the black one. I don't know where it is. I know I have it. I know I at least have black, black coffee. I think it's like black something. Anyway, can't find it. So I'm gonna use the Blitz Brown and then if I feel like I need to darken it up, then I'll take like a shadow or something and, and make it blacker. Um, so let's do a couple things. Okay, I mean, part of the, the thing about these challenges that we do every two weeks you're not allowed to buy anything new for it. And, you know, it's not really about making it exactly like the thing that we're, the picture or the video, whatever. It's to use it as inspiration. So 
it's not going to be exact, but frankly, I don't think it would be exact even if I had every single product <laughs> because yeah, um, as we've discussed many, many times, these are very, very talented artists that are doing this work. And of course models, you know, that are <laughs> stunningly beautiful. So let's just kind of go in, I think, so we're going to smudge it. We're going to use a small blending brush to soften the edges, then use a small flat dampened brush to do the gold standard. So I think I'll pull out, I'm just pulling out some brushes here that I think might work. I don't have a, like a very thin liner brush um, to do this with, but you don't really do any looks that are that thin, you know, like a super lined look. Okay, so let's try this. <laughs> yeah, um, by taking the Blitz Brown and just seeing how this smudges out. If I put this on my eye and taking soften the edges, blend outwards. Okay, let's try it. And like I said, this is gonna be a different shade because she's got black. I don't have the black liner. You ever do that? You ever, like, you know? I mean, I know. I know I have black liner from uh, <laughs> Pat McGrath. Like, I've used it. Like, I'm pretty sure I've used it on the channel. Like, uh, yeah. This is what happens when I get a headache. I just, my brain doesn't function really well. All right, and so she's got it like out like this. This is where those um, tapes would come in handy. I have them, I just, I just never use them. I don't know. It's not my thing, I guess. Okay, let's do the other eye. This is fun, right? <laughs> I do admit, like I like using like a liner as a shadow. Um, smudging it out creates a great base for other makeup and I have to pull at my eye a little because my eye is not as tight as it once was. Okay. Now I feel like if I went over that with like a black would be better. It's not terrible. And half of it's gonna be covered by the other shade anyway, but I feel like if I went over it, let's see, what can I go over it with? What pencil? I know that the um, Victoria Beckham pencils smudge really well. I think the Tom Ford ones smudge pretty well. The Wayne Goss ones smudge pretty well. They're smudgeable. The Chanel's pretty much stay. That's the problem with the Chanel ones. Let's do a little bit of the Wayne Goss. Yeah, I think it's a little better. More like the look she has. All right, now, the next part says to mix the, um, a flat, small flat brush dampened with Mayron mixing liquid to swipe gold standard onto the eye, inner socket and lid. Okay, let's try that. <laughs> let's see how well this, will. this works. Take the gold standard. Kind of like a, hard to do on your own eye, I'll tell you that much. I feel like if I took smaller brush and kind of just, okay. Not exact, but 
getting us there. I'm outlining it more on this eye. Like I said, guys, we always make it sound like it's going to be, you know, we always look at a look and we're like, oh, yeah, we could do that. I never say we could do it. I always say the other people can do it. I'm always like, uh, probably not. But I'm always game to try. And that's the point, right? Something different. That is definitely gold. Wow. Okay. That's like, if you ever need like a really gold look for some reason, this is it. <laughs> All right, so we've got, okay, so we've got the look like that. Okay. And then we're going to want to let that dry a little. Okay, redefine the liner and emphasize the socket with the underworld shadow. Okay, so I think underworld is that deep blue shade. So we'll take that um, and we'll get a very small, if I could find anything today. So it says redefine the liner and emphasize the socket. So we'll take uh where is my it's like i take like the um migraine medication and my brain shuts down like my brain wasn't doing great before but but now it's just like nope nope sorry we can't function oh you want a brush i'm sorry we can't help you with that like okay fine all right so i'm gonna take my um sonia g pencil one brush and I'm just gonna go along it says liner <laughs> uh, redefine the liner and emphasize the socket so I think it means liner as in eyelashes maybe not <laughs> who knows again this is just an interpretation right we're just playing around having fun and the socket the socket of your eye is this. So let's go back over it. Over the gold standard. Just lightly back and forth. A little more careful on this side because it's a little fresher. Let's bring this out again a little bit because I lost little bit of that like wing okay um emphasize the inner corner and along the liner with sterling okay sure sterling is that bright silver shade let's do the inner corner first because that seems easier <laughs> okay so we've got it in the inner corner and now what it wants me to do is what the artist did is run the line between the gold and that black. And that's going to be the tough thing to do because my lids are textured. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to slowly, very, very slowly, Okay, same thing on the other side. Oh. Got a little too thick there. I think I can fix that though. Okay, so let me curl my lashes, kind of cut off on me there for a second. Let me curl my lashes, put on mascara, and we'll see how this sort of comes together. So I'd say two things. One, I'm gonna use the um, NARS 
Climax mascara. This is the sample size because I still haven't picked up the full size one. Um, I put more gold on than I should have. Uh, I should have put less gold on my eye, but I don't really have the right brush to like keep it very small. And as I said, her lid space is just so much larger than mine. Um, we might even have on the same amount of the gold shade, but on her lid space, you know, it doesn't look like it. So if I did, if I had a chance to do it twice, which I don't, um, I would definitely use less of the gold. I covered my eye like almost I'd say like three quarters of gold. I did better on this eye than I did on this eye, but still too much gold. I'm also going to say, I don't think this works really well, uh, with a textured lid very well. I mean, you can do it. Obviously I just did it not well, but I mean, the problem is it's really hard to draw a line, a like a really specific line on your lid to make a shape when your eyes uh, have so much, you know, texture and frankly aren't, the skin is just not taut enough, I think. If I was doing it on someone else, like if I had a, a person in front of me with the same, you know, issues, I could do it. But doing it on yourself, I just think that's really hard. And then of course, um, the artists use fake lashes. I am not, but trying to put on like quite a bit of mascara here. Like we said, the whole point of this is to do something different and fun and creative. It doesn't have to be perfect. Perfect is boring. By the lip look, like I said, I have on the um, Beige Couture uh, lipstick, which I think is actually like a great lipstick for this look. I want to use the Saint Germain a little more as like liner. Um, let's, cause I think like she has like a, a darker line. What do we think? I look nothing like the model at all, <laughs> but, but, kind of fun, right? <laughs> All right. Let me bring you in close so you can see it. Finished look. Now I'm, so the picture, I'll, I'll try to do like the video of her so you can kind of see she's got this, you know, gold lame look with the silver and then the, of course the wing. I have way too much gold on my eye. Like I said, I should have like cut it way earlier, but I don't think it looks terrible. I don't think it looks good, but I don't think it looks terrible. This was fun. It was fun. It was fun to play around with, and I don't play with my Decadence palette nearly enough. I love this palette. This is, you know, it, it has so many great shades in it. Uh, the Underworld shade, which I use, this blue shade, is one of my favorite blues. It's so pretty. And Gold Standard, of course, is like a gold standard. The sterling, as it's the most beautiful silver. Divine Mink, the shade here, love Divine Mink. I don't know, it's just a beautiful like gray blue. Isn't that just stunning? If this has prompted me to do anything, it's prompted me to pull out my Pat McGrath palettes more often because I do love them and the shades are unbelievable. So even though, of course, I don't have the skill of this makeup artist to do this look, uh, I can at least play around with the, the palette from time to time and all her palettes, which are gorgeous. So to all the content creators that participated this week, I can't wait to see what you guys did. I'm sure much better than I did. So I'm really excited to see the looks. Lexi, as always, thank you so much for letting me join. And if you've come over from one of the other content creators pages, I swear I can usually do a better job than this give me a chance and check out some of my other videos and subscribe if you're so inclined. Thanks so much for joining me today, guys. I really do appreciate it. And I hope to see you in another video really soon. Bye-bye.